friends now let's learn to compute resultant of two or more forces before that we will see how to resolve a force a force is split into two perpendicular components along x and y axis observe the following examples of resolution of forces in the first example we have the force f in the first quadrant so it is resolved as f sin theta along y axis and f cos theta along x axis likewise the force in the second quadrant is resolved as f sin theta and minus f cos theta and in third quadrant it is minus f sin theta and minus f cos theta while in fourth quadrant the force is resolved as minus f sin theta and f cos theta along y and x axis respectively now we will move on to calculate the resultant when two or more coplanar concurrent or non concurrent forces act on a body then the resultant force is calculated as and the direction of the resultant force is here summation of fx is algebraic sum of all x components of all the forces and fy is algebraic sum of all y components of all the forces the force can be resolved using parallelogram method after constructing a parallelogram find three angles from any triangle and apply the sine rule to the triangle finally we get the components of the force let's solve one example consider a force of 1000 newton which is applied along the midstream to tow a boat for some reason it is not possible to apply the force along the midstream so two forces are applied at 30 degree and 45 degree on either side of it in the same plane now determine the magnitudes of these forces let the two forces be f1 and f2 then resolve these forces into their components along x axis and y axis so summation of fy is given as follows from this we can say that f1 equal to f2 into root 2 as the boat is not moving along the y axis so there is no resultant force along y direction thus the resultant force 1000 newton is along x axis therefore we can write effect as in this equation we will substitute the value of f1 and thus by simplifying it we get the value of f2 and finally f1 and friends the same technique can be applied when there are more than two forces in the system